Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn Earth signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out how does your person feel about you since the last time they saw you. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 7th of May 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 2.31 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to finally get it to watch this video this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same sign my apologies for the way i sound i have a sore throat right now but anyway let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me for virgo taurus and capricorn how does the person feel about them since they last saw them Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed. Lovers name of first at the bottom of the deck, and then we've got the Nine of Pentacles as the first card. So the Nine of Pentacles, this is you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let me show you. So they thought you were gorgeous. You have standards. You dress really well, um, or you dress very mm, elegantly. Nine of Pentacles, they think your person thought you have money or you have more money now if it's not about money it's about independence um they feel like you're someone who has achieved a lot in your life um hmm. but i like the nine of pentacles that means they think of they think highly of you they feel like you're doing well okay but the Page of Swords here can be an indication of them feeling as though, like, wait a minute, how did Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn um, come this far? Why are you... How did you come this far? And what have you done to become the Nine of Pentacles? Because the Page of Swords... Sorry, I'm, I'm sick. I'm a little sick here. But the Page of Swords is curious, right? So the Page of Swords looking towards the Nine of Pentacles makes me feel like he or she is suspicious or curious, okay? To find out what, what, what have you done to become who you are now or to achieve a certain success that you have right now or how do you make your money because pentacles indicates money right so a lot of questions in this person's head that i feel is kind of unanswered right now okay five of cups here is in reverse they felt like you're somebody very positive that you see the glass half full then it is half empty or they started to see positive things about you more positive things about you we've got the seven of cups here in reverse and we've got the high priestess in reverse hmm. they know that you know the now particles and the seven of, cups, seven of cups in reverse these two cards indicates that some, someone who sets themselves apart from the rest right Somebody who shines, somebody who has a glow up. So your person may feel that you have this glow up about you. You just shine. High Priestess and Love first. Even though they're curious to find out why, why did you become this Nine of Pentacles? How or how did you get where you're at right now? But they kind of also at the same time believe that it's real 
that you are real. Um, sometimes the high is in reverse, also can indicate paranoia. The moon here is in reverse. You know, it, it feels like they believe you, but at the same time, they're like, but how? How is this possible? Hope that makes sense. This energy where they feel like, yeah, I, I think, I believe, I believe Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, but, but how? <laughs> how is that possible? Right? It could be something that you said or the way you presented yourself. How is that possible? Because for some of you, if you're separated from this person, they may feel as though the last time I saw you, like, how can you be, like, okay with this? How can you look so good? How can you just, you know? Now Pentacles, like, again, just really independent. Maybe you didn't show that you needed them. But why and how, right? So it, it kind of amazes them. And we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. This, this is also your energy unless roles are being reversed. They feel like you're somebody very hardworking, trustworthy, uh, dependable, reliable. Someone who wants you more first. They kind of suspect that maybe they can trust you and that they can put their guards down. And Ten of Swords here is in one first. Maybe you're not going to be that person who's going to hurt them or hurt them again, okay? If things, if this is someone you, you're separated from. But let's see more. strength I feel like you are very strong and you you know lovers and lovers definitely not somebody that um, that they can simply just say have a fling or you're definitely not somebody where they just see you as like a piece of meat I'm saying piece of meat because these two are like not wearing any clothes right piece of meat yeah they don't see you as that because it's right next to the nine of pentacles and it's in reverse like how strong you are and that they have to be very careful and very tactful with the way they treat you with the way they uh, the things that they say to you they have to treat you with a lot of respect all that you know you have this aura about you where you demand respect and then we've got the page of cups here the nine of wands in one first. So your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> so many, so many signs here. Just take what resonates with you. And the page of pentacles here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, okay? And we've got the Hierophant right here. Yeah, they learn a lot from you. They feel like they can, res uh, they, they have to respect you. Um, that they cannot, look at these two fire here, they are both in my first. That they cannot be inconsistent with you. Since the last time they saw you, they feel like they have to treat you again with a lot of respect. Um, they have to show their sincerity, perhaps because you can see right through them with the high persons in my first. That you're somebody highly intuitive. Um, yep, the moon here is in my first, right? So something about how, you know, unless you are embodying the page of swords here, then your, this, your person may see you as someone very, very intelligent. And you may be suspicious. You may be suspicious of anybody because you're intelligent. Um, and that they cannot just treat you how, however they want to treat you. And that, you know, the the moon here in my first, they cannot deceive you. And also at the same time, they feel like you deserve. They feel like you deserve to be treated well. If this person is embodying the Nine of Pentacles instead, this person feels like they have to treat you well. They have to be consistent with you. They cannot they cannot be the Knight of Wands in first and the King of Wands in first. They have to be sincere towards you. They have to treat you accordingly, 
respect you, be consistent because you can see right through them and also because you don't need them. You, 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 at any time, you can make a choice to say, okay, goodbye, I don't need you because you're so independent, right? At any time, you will just say like, okay, you know, <laughs> I will release you. I don't need this. Yeah, somebody where they feel they have to, again, respect, care, like, like you have to show that you're genuine. If you're not genuine, they feel like you will. You will see that, you will realize that, and you will just, like, say goodbye because, again, very independent energy, right? As though you don't need anybody. All right, Virgo, Taurus, and Capcom, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel, Chelsea Travel, Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. Um, I'm going to leave it on the screen. You can click, click on it. It takes you straight to that channel. I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Take care. Bye.